Hi, everybody. Welcome to Live Lunch Break. My name is Rick Koster. I'm from the Day newspaper here in New London. We stream this weekly, every Thursday, from the Telegraph Record Shop. And I think Alec Baldwin just walked in. Hi, yes. Alec. Hey, Alec. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty casual around here. Alec, how are you? Uh, our guest today is Dan Blakesley. Hi, Dan. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm very, I'm very, I'm excellent because you're here now. That's very kind. His footprints are all over, all over this region. He's from Maine. Lived in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Boston for years. Now in Providence, yeah. Rhode Island, working his way south and west. So welcome to New <laughs> London. Thanks. Good, great, great, wonderful to be here at Telegraph and New London. Well, always. Dan is a. He's such a Renaissance man that I'm going to have to change the spelling of you're Renaissance. Very, you're very sweet. It's true. <laughs> Not only is he a great musician and songwriter, but he can channel Spooky. the sound of an ambulance <laughs> and make it come out of his ears. <laughs> um, but you're also a wonderful fine artist, and we're going to talk about all of that stuff uh, when we do the interview portion. But I'm just, I'm just damn glad you're here. So would you do us the honor... Of playing some, some songs? I certainly will. Thank you guys for being here. We're glad you're here. This is Dan Blakesley. Thank you, Rick. All right. All right. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna start out with a song about a lazy-eyed girl I met in Burlington, Vermont at a party. Thank you. 
with courage left me in the dirt and I shed my skin and lose that wall of hurt Love and lazy eye that smile a singing bell She's a ringing out to let me know she fell Like a bonfire Oh, a burning flame will never disappear in one part of that portion of that song but uh, I'm not riding a horse right now but you know what I mean oh uh, this next song is on my my uh, latest album called the alley walker and it's about getting stranded in Texas uh, I got stranded there two years in a row and uh, the second year uh, my car frame split on a railroad track and my pal Daphne gave me a ride back to the area because she had just happened to be playing uh, uh, a show in the same club in Texas the next night. So I'm very thankful. That song is almost done, but this one is about the first time I got stranded. And uh, it, uh, it's, it, it was even worse. All right. Fault but my own like a coyote on the prairie howling alone my heart still beating of picking up the pace haven't got a dollar to fix my healing had no sleep I need a good meal I'm a lone star in the state of Texas Some get branded Me, I don't like the heat Trying to the radio It's hard to get hurt Through the rodeo stampede I can't get a word Just a lone star In the state of Texas Glad to be here Southern charm felt like I was sinking when you were with me. You tapped too long. Thank 
to my beautiful friend for taking me in. Before I run out of luck, I'm around to see you again. Back to my beautiful friend for taking me in. Is, is full band except one song and uh, and it was a song that I told myself I was only gonna record one time and never play it out that was my thing I told my band that in the studio I'm like that's how it's gonna go and then uh, at every show my band is like you got to play the song I'm like no I'm not doing it I, I've been playing it uh, and here it is downstream Now Now you got your own ship Set your course is new. Send a thousand angels to carry and cradle you. Tune mid song, nothing I could do. <laughs> Rich, sorry. Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm glad we got one train in there. That was the train, right? Okay, so, yeah. all right. Excellent. <laughs> oh man, I think I'm gonna do a brand new song. Like uh, I just I, I just wrote one the other night about uh, 
almost driving into Mexico one time <laughs> by mistake. But it's not about that one. Why do I do that? I do that. It's a thing. Sorry. Are you mad? Are you mad? I hope not. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm not going to do that one. I'm doing a different one. A <laughs> different new one. <laughs> Because, uh, anyway, this one is about, um, uh, I was uh, playing a show in Clarksdale, Mississippi, and, uh, and it was the same day that I got uh, the news that Tom Petty passed away. And I'm a huge Petty fan. I was like, uh, I was d devastated by it. And uh, I was kind of moping around the, the venue that I was playing. It's hard to mope there because it's one of my favorite places to play. But, uh and then, uh, and then I got the news about the Las Vegas shootings, and uh, I didn't want to see one human being, and it's a, which is very unlike me because I'm a, I'm just, I like people, and uh, but I had to face a room, a crowd to play to, and uh, it was one of the hardest things. But what I realized after the show is like, all people want to do is hear music that day. And uh, the, net, the, the following day, I was walking around town. I noticed all the flags were at half-mast and uh, came up with this song. Today, it seems all the flags are flying at half-mast. I can be with things broke. It should be made to last. I get down and pray, but nobody listens these days. We're all overwhelmed and underpaid. Some are walking so tall, how can we see eye to eye? Instead of building these walls, we should be side by side. I get down and pray, but nobody listens these days. We're all overwhelmed and underpaid. Every morning I roll up the dice. I'll just stay in bed These days it's cloudy with vultures circling overhead I get down and pray But nobody listens these days We're all overwhelmed and underpaid Right up and gone, will you still be acting cool? The tears you cry can never fill your swimming pool. I get down and pray, but nobody listens these days. We're all overwhelmed. And overworked All overwhelmed And underpaid New song Wait, wait, and then the ending goes like this Wait, it goes uh... Nope <laughs> Forget it, I'll do the ending Next time I come through How about <laughs> I'll be the ending all right, all right, the beginning. The beginning. <laughs> Dan Blakesley is our guest on Live Lunch Break. That was pretty, that was excellent stuff. Oh, thank you. Thank you thank for being you. here. Heck yeah. Uh, as always, we're at the Telegraph Record Shop in New London. Our host is Rich Martin back Rich! There, wearing the, the vintage Built to Spill t-shirt. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, what do they call it when you pre-weather something? 
So it looks old even though it's brand new. I don't know. What I don't know. Pre-weathering? Don't Google it. Pre-weathering. Don't, don't Google it. There's some, my wife would know. But Anyway, Dan, thank you for traveling down from Providence today to be with us. And I have, boy, do I have questions for you. All right. I'm ready for them. Are you ready? All right. First of all, one of the tunes you did in that set was from last year's album. The Alley yes. Walker. I thought yes. we might as well show it to people, right? Heck yeah, it's right the, here. Right here. <laughs> Here's the band, the Calabash Club, right? Uh huh. With a few extra members. Do I fit? That are, uh... yeah. <laughs> All right. That's available. Where do people find that? Where do they get? Oh, it? they find that right here. Yeah. At the Telegraph. Yeah. They do. But you are a globe. Well, you're a. a... When were you're you not say driving in. <laughs> I was, but I love you the globe trotters. You, but other than driving accidentally <laughs> into Mexico, you're kind of stateside. But you travel I all am. over the states. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. people can get it from your website. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. DanBlakesley.com. It's true. All right. I'm glad you said it. I don't like using those modern terms. Yeah. Thank you. I'm pretty modern. <laughs> no, no question about that. <laughs> But before we go any further, you and I are, what do they call it, sons of a different jack-o'-lantern. Because oh my God. we're probably the two biggest Halloween fans in the uh, world. Uh -huh. You're on board oh, with that, right? Besides my friend Mr. Roosh. Look up that guy. Google really? that guy. Mm -hmm. Mr. Roosh? Oh, yeah. How do Roosh. you spell it? R-E-U-S-C-H. He's into it? Oh, yeah. He's into it. You have if your we own looked altar. around his, say this was his apartment right now, everything would be Halloween. Really? Year Even round. now? It's awesome. Now, I used to be able to tell you, at any, and my wife will, will testify to this, I would tell you any day of the year how many days it was till Halloween. No way. But I, I, can't oh my do, God. I can't do that anymore. But you have your own alter ego for Halloween. I do. Dr. Gasp. Dr. Gasp. I love that. I want to be Dr. Gasp's roadie. Oh, my God. All right, let's book a show. Let's book a show. In New London. For Halloween. October. Again. I'll be, I'll be, now, describe to people a tour you undertook and how you determined the itinerary of this. This was a really bad tour idea, but I had this. All right, so Tom Waits was doing this tour called Pest Timba Jumba or something, where it's like he just made some nonsense word about this tour shape that he's doing. And, uh, and I was hanging out with a friend of mine in, a, in a, a gallery in, in Harvard Square in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And he had gotten a little tipsy at the end of the night, and uh, we were talking, and, I, and, and he goes, hey, are, are you, we, got, we, get, we were watching the, the Tom Waits thing. He goes, are you doing any shaped tours for Dr. Gasp? I'm like, what, like a jack-o'-lantern? He goes, yeah, let's do it. So this is like 10 years ago. He started getting on Google Maps, to, took a, a photo of New England, and we proposed where I would do this jack-o'-lantern tour so it makes the face of a jack-o'-lantern as a joke, you know, not thinking I would actually do it. I was like, ha ha, that was funny. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah. Then on the 10th anniversary of me being Dr. Gasp, I was like, wouldn't that be crazy to actually do that? Let's see if that could work. And, uh, it, it kind of worked in a, <laughs> not, not in a great way, but you know, I ended up having to, there were seven shows that, I couldn't play at venues because they were in towns where I, I had to make the, the, the Jack and Leonard uh, mouth look jagged. In order to do that, I had to play in Orange, Connecticut. There's not a venue there. I tried to get on this radio station. They, were, they, were, uh, they couldn't have me that day. And I was like, all right, I'll just play in a swamp. I'll play in this <laughs> swamp, and I'll announce it. And this way, it's a show, and I'll film it. So I did that. I played in front of a swamp. I played in, front, I played in, in a cornfield in the rain. I played... Uh, <laughs> In front of a, an, uh, in an apple orchard, uh, in front of a castle, in front of a covered bridge. There's one more. Oh, in a graveyard in Fall River. Perfect. <laughs> Why not? At midnight. Gah. I couldn't even speak. Like, yeah. I was hanging out with my good pal, Will Schaff, William Schaff. He was holding the flashlight, him and his girlfriend, <laughs> filming me hold a flashlight. So I'm popping behind a grave. I, nothing was coming out of my mouth. Anyway. How perfect. But if you put so, uh, a yeah. pin on the map. Of everywhere you played, it made the face of a jack o' lantern. Yep. With teeth. With teeth. <laughs> right. <laughs> it just didn't. I'm humbled. I don't know how to top that. That's just. 
<laughs> and I did wear my Ben Cooper Halloween mask T-shirt today. In I know. Honor. I saw that. And I'm like, I want one. Those of you who are not old enough, Ben, when we were kids, maybe best not masks, dead, best Still. masks, and yes. and so I wore this for Dan. Well, I appreciate it. Now, in addition to the Halloween persona, the new album that we've discussed, the fact that you travel everywhere. You're also a very fine, fine artist. I try. And thank you. He's done poster art, album cover art. My favorite thing is that tell us about the beer stuff you do. All right. Well, I started doing a beer la- beer the little Eric beer labels right after um maybe like a year after art school. In art school I was like just completely bombarded with the uh, like a crazy amount of work, so I didn't want to do any artwork after. So I took uh, about a year just to play music, and I was playing music at this place called um, uh, Portsmouth Brewery, and they're the people that make Smutty Nose. And uh, and I kept making my show posters. You know, every week I would play there almost like a at least a couple times a month. And then they uh, said, "Would you make us eight beer labels?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I could do that." So they said, and they gave me freedom to kind of do whatever I wanted. I thought you were going to say free beer. No. <laughs> man. Oh, no, they would have. I don't drink. I've never oh, had well, one. No, well, Which is kind of like, man, that's part of the payment, man. I'm losing out. No. Okay, but, I interrupted. But, I'm so, sorry. No, no, no. So, uh, so, uh, so I was able to uh, name a couple of those beers. And then, uh, and then later on, uh, many years ago, like 10, uh, 10 years after that, I was uh, – doing artwork at a um at a cafe in burlington vermont i was just making a show poster and and uh the owner of the alchemist beer company was uh, sitting next to me i had no idea and he hadn't even started the beer company yet and uh <laughs> and he said to me he kept looking over my shoulder he's like hey would you ever want to make a beer label I'm like, yeah i would love that and so we hit it off and they're like they're like family to me Sweethearts. Okay, the twist in this that I didn't know was that Dan didn't drink. Yeah, I know, so right? It's for the love of the art <laughs> right. rather than the hops. So, <laughs> all right, I got one more question, and we're going to let I'm you ready. play some more. All right. Uh, and I I mean, we, we're having fun. It's a whimsical conversation. But I am fascinated by people who are really good at more than one aesthetic discipline. In your case, at least we know that you're a musician and also an artist. On any given day, does one muse rule over the other? What if, what if you? That's man. That's one of the hardest things. Like I like to do both each day. Like in like every day, I like to do a little bit of art, a little bit of music. Some days I can't. Like when I go on tour, it's like I really only have like a half an hour that I could commit to doing artwork, because you drive five hours, and then your sound check is at like four or five, so you have like one half hour. Yeah. After lunch, to like get in some drawing and then, then it's showtime. But if if is there a day when you just go, I have to draw this now, or I have to write this oh, yeah. song now? Oh yeah. And then everything else gets pushed. Yeah, aside. that that happened the other day when I was doing one that song that I'm not gonna play today. Yeah. The song. About thanks for thanks for almost, tease almost number getting two. <laughs> into Texas. It was one of those days where it's like I got back from tour and I'm like, man, I owe so many people so much hard work. Then I got this song in my head, and I'm like, God, I got to do it. You got to do it while it's like the, you know, while the uh, the iron's hot. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. This is great fun. Thank you guys for paying attention here on Live Lunch Break. Uh, we do this every week at the day. They're archived at theday.com slash live lunch. So you're here, but those of you who are not here, if you want to see Dan, you can always do it there. And you guys that are here, you can still go home and do it again. This is so great. Anyway. Uh, Before you wrap up, should I tell yes. you about a really bad tour idea I have in my head? What's that? I don't know if it's so bad, but I've had this one for a long time, and I'm going to do it this year. So it's called Mirror Mirror Tour, where I play Burlington, Vermont, Burlington, Massachusetts, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Portsmouth, Vermont. I mean... Uh, Rhode Island, et cetera. And then on the 31st of September, Salem, New Hampshire. Then the 1st of October, Salem, Massachusetts, as Dr. Gasp. 
We're going to see if it works. I love that, except there's only 30 <laughs> days in September. I know. I was I was questioning that in my head. Uh, I was thinking about that. All right, but I knew what you meant. I'm glad. You, man, you're on top of it. No, I'm not, because what would happen is on the 31st of September, I would show up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I love right. the twin, but how are you going to do Portland, Maine, and Portland, Oregon? Nope, not doing that. <laughs> it's only New England, New England. Oh, all right. Well, there's That's, a lot of – there's London, there's two New Londons. Really? And a Portland, Connecticut. That's what? right. As, as, as oh, Peter Oh, man. Out. That's the thing. Does Portland, Connecticut have a venue or I'm going to be playing in a swamp? No, I, no, I cool. think they might. Well, we'll figure this out because this is a great I mean, idea. <laughs> and your oh. suit can be made of mirrors. Oh, my God. What? What? All right. <laughs> this is Dan Blakesley, and thank you guys for being here. Rock it. Wow. Man, that is good. Oh, I can't even think right now. That was so good. I'm doing it. Okay, this song is about playing music down in the subways of Boston. That sort of, I mean, I got my start playing on, on the streets of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Agunquit, Maine, Portland, Maine, and Boston. Like, and then I, and then uh, uh, a friend of mine, an old friend from grade school said, hey man, you should move in. Uh, you know, I have an opening in my, in my apartment, you should play music in the subway. I hadn't thought about that. And uh, so I've been playing down there for about 20 years. It's been very, very interesting. And uh, in this song, uh, you know, you meet all kinds of people down there, good, bad, weird, and more weird. And, uh, but uh, this song is about the time that I decided to stop playing for five years after <laughs> this thing happened. <laughs> Last night I played Deep in the tunnels of town Bear witness my trade If you took the rails underground Smoke and the signal Gave me a sign I'm far from the whispering pine Somewhere between Darkness and doom I feel someone watching me Came in Indian tall as 
an oak Just a wandering drunk I thought as he saw me and spoke Surrender your song Your fortune too As it grew Then across the tracks Came the boys in blue Which left no one wanting me Left out a little piece of that song because I was thinking about the mirrored suit. <laughs> I did. I was like, God, that's awesome. Ah, oh, hey, you can't do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can. Yeah, man, that is good. <laughs> See you later. Thanks. Bye, guys. Thanks. Oh, yeah, do it. It's lunchtime. I get it. All right. No, no, I'm from South Berwick, Maine, originally. Yeah, yeah, but Portsmouth was the next big city. I do too. It's good. All right, see you later. Uh, this song is on the uh, new album, and uh, and it's about, uh, I make artwork and music for a living, which we already discussed, and I'm a terrible boss <laughs> to myself. In 2013, I took about eight days off the whole year, which was dumb. Then in uh, 2014, I took about 12 or 13 days off, equally idiotic. And then in 2015, I decided to take 30 days off, which is still not nearly enough time. <laughs> so I decided to write myself a song uh, about how important it is to take time off and do nothing. <laughs> Let there be no shame in wasting time. We've all got worries we could leave behind. Ride upon a train with no direction, up a cloud that's bound for drifting. Let there be no shame in way in time Let your toes count the grains of sand And a mermaid may just grab you by the hand I'd lose my whip if I was a whippoorwill Here's to the great procrastinator even alligators know it's not a crock Everybody knows it's a rough life for a clock How can you relax with all the nervous ticking talking you spend your whole life waiting for a punch And another when they get back from lunch To nourish is to flourish Then's the break
stubborn bread in the oven rising slow the food of life is smarter than we know I always takes it easy till a clown needs it in the face let there be no shame in wasting pie let there be no shame in wasting time oh we've all got worries we could leave behind in the afternoon a little dosey do Followed by a jelly roll Let there be no shame In wasting time Let there be no shame In wasting time Thanks so much! All right, I'm gonna play uh, a song. I'm gonna do two more. Uh, this next one is about going out there on the road, going out on tour, just just uh, leaving for a stretch of time, but always bringing uh, home with you wherever you go. Across the unknown, I pondered. Now I've got the time for riddling and rhyme, reading road signs, singing my line. I'll navigate to over yonder, every state of spell being. I'll be trying my odds, battling and gone. Songs to bring me home On the way back home Ooh. Oh, this fire could use an iron so I could help on my clothes I'll be wading in a river Sleeping in jeans Add a little more coal Get a little more steam All oh, songs to bring me home On the way back home Dusty, my truth is clean. Picture in my wallet and my canteen. But I gotta move these wagon wheels. The more they move, the better it feels.
I build a tunnel to your heart With every letter I send Girl, I'm letting you know Oh, to pack up your things I'll be picking you up on the telephone ring Oh, songs to bring me home On the way back home again for having me, Rich, here at Telegraph Records. I was going to say Telegraph, the Telegraph. So, Rich, what is it? But you don't say records in the title? But people just know. Right? True. No, no, they don't. I was going to say, wait a minute. Oh, it's not time. It's not. It's not time. We'll talk about it after, maybe. <laughs> All right. Thanks, The Telegraph, for having me. I'm going to play uh, one more song. This song is about um, my gal, Lenny Bryan, that I met on tour uh, two years ago, two and a half years ago. I met her in a swamp in Charleston, South Carolina. And, oh, my God. Anyway. I could go into a longer story, but I'm just going to play the song. I've been gone ten days, 900 miles from my home. Landed in the low country. At the sea we are post On in the sudden without a cloud in the sky I felt lightning strike There she took me by the arm Only in a little kitten in the swamp have you any idea on the fire you lit in me, Lenny? Oh, that cruel morning sun knew there's work to be done, it hurts to leave. I half expected to see her name. As I'm rolling up my sleeve In the rearview mirror I can See the tears of a weeping willow I won't forget about you, dear All in a little kitten in the swamp have you any idea Oh, the fire you lit in me, Lenny I walked 
across the metamorphosis every mile that I travel through. Landscape returning, wandering and rambling overdue. Wilding through the desert in the mountains blue with one thing never changing. How I long to be tangled up with you. On any little kitten in the swamp, have you any idea? Have you any idea how I long to be tangled up with you? Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Dan Blakesley. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you so much, Dan. That was fun, people. Thank you for being at Live Lunch Break. The album, right here. Yep. Most recent one. Get it at danblakesley.com. And where are you going to be next? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Going to be in the, at the Pump House in uh, South Kingstown, Rhode Island. Sounds good. We can all be there. We will be there. We vow that. Excellent. Travel safe, <laughs> my friend. We'll see you before Halloween. Yes. Thanks for being at the Telegraph. Uh, thanks for watching Live Lunch Break. Thanks to Pete Wobby for getting Thank it right. You, Pete. Thanks for Rich Martin, thanks. always hosting us here. Next week we'll be here with the Carlines, hometown faves. That's a damn good. That's a damn good band. You'd like them, Dan. Nice. All right, y'all be safe.